Hi boys and girls, Miss Debbie here. Good evening. Thought we'd do an outside story time as the sun sets. So you may hear birds, <clears throat> a plane, that was cardinal. Uh, you may hear a dog or a kitty cat, and uh, it's just the soft noises of night. Um, so I have a bunch of books today, three books. I hope we can get through them all, but let's start uh, by thinking about Twinkle. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. <gasps> what are you wishing for this time? Maybe a trip to Disneyland or Disney World or just to the shore. How about a visit to the shore and the boardwalk beach? That, that, I think that will be my wish. Let, let, let's go to Sandy Hook in the sand. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right, Twinkle. Whoa. Twinkle's going to go up in the sky. We'll look for him later if it's not too cloudy. Right now it's cloudy. So, my first story is I'm the best artist in the ocean. And this is by Kevin Sherry. He, he, he writes and illustrates these books. Um, if, you're, if you're a reader or uh, want to listen to a longer story by Kevin Sh Sherry, he writes The Yeti file, Files. You know, a Yeti is an abominable snowman. So uh, I might pick up um, one of those books. It's a series at the library today. And you can probably start picking up books at the library next week. So just go on the catalog and order it and put your name in there and you'll get the book. I'm the best artist in the ocean. Hello, I'm a giant squid. Here are my tentacles. I'm a giant squid and I know how to draw. Look at that. I can hold many paintbrushes at one time. I can draw fish. I can draw crabs. I can draw manta rays and jellyfish. Hmm. I feel like getting a paper and crayons and trying some drawing myself. I'm a giant squid and I can draw anything. Oh, he's drawing a seahorse. Uh-oh, here come two little clownfish. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making a masterpiece. Look, I can draw like this, or that, or even like that. I'm the best artist in the ocean. Ooh-wee, now I'm holding four paintbrushes at one time. Stop! You are making a mess. You're making a mess drawing over everything, said the shark. You mean, dab, 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 a masterpiece. And when you draw, you should make a mess. And you'll have a masterpiece, too. And love that book. Big and colorful. Should we do a song? We, we like to do our bedtime songs. Let's do Skidamarink. Remember, I, point, your, point to yourself, I love you. Or you could do the, um, the shortened version. 
I love you. Baby, baby sign language, okay? Skidamarink a dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. Skidamarink a dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skidamarink a dinky dink, skidamarinky do. I love you. I love you. By the way, um, behind me, do you see that little, um, it, it looks like um, a piece of a tree and with holes in it? That's my, um, that's for the bees, the wild bees. Mm. Not honeybees, but I'm hoping some bees come and make a nest there. So, and then, of course, you can see my prayer flags behind that. I'm very happy for my prayer flags. <clears throat> so, time for story number two. You probably have heard this story, I Stink, by Kate and Jim McMullen. What do you think it's a story about? You're right, it's a garbage truck. I stink. <clears throat> Who am I? I've got lights, 10 wide tires, no AC, not me. I've got doubles, steering wheels, gas pedals, brakes. I am totally dual op. And you know what I do at night while you're asleep? Ooh. Eat your trash. That's what. See those bags? I smell breakfast. Crew, get me to the curb. Lights, blink. Brakes, squeal. Tailgate, say ah. Feed me. Send in those trash bags. Straight into my hopper. Nice toss, guys. Stop. Hopper's full. Hit the throttle. Give me some gas and rev me to the max. Engine. Roar. Don't garbage trucks make a lot of noise? Roar. Oh, did I wake you? Too bad. Pistons, bring on the crusher blade. Blade, push back those bags. Squeeze them, crush them, mash them, smash them. Whoa, those bags are way compacted. See how, see how they get squished in the truck? Burp. Did you ever hear a garbage truck burp? <laughs> Maybe. Ah, now I have room for alphabet garbage soup. Get a load of my recipe. Apple pores, banana peels, candy wrappers, dirty diapers, ew, eggshells, fish heads, gobs and gobs of gum. Half-eaten hot dogs. Icky ice cream cartons. Jam jars. Kitty litter. Lobster claws. Moldy meatballs. Mom was cleaning out the refrigerator. Nasty neckties. Orange peels, puppy poo, and quail bones, too. Rotten radishes, smelly sneakers, toothpaste tubes, ugly underpants, vacuum bags, watermelon rinds, extra large t-shirts, Year old yams and zipped up ziti with zucchini. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. I love it. What's that? You think I stink? Oh, do I ever? Whoo-wee. No skunk ever stunk this bad. Go on, hold your nose. But, with, but when you think about it, without me taking all this garbage, you're on Mount Trasharama, baby. Wow. Next stop, the river. We're not dumping it in the river. Lights, flash. Driver, reverse. Get me to the barge. Hear me blast my backup rap. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, out of my way. Beep, 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 beep. There's the barge. Ready, crew? Action. Pins, out. Power takeoff switch, hit it. Tailgate, separate. Up, up, up. Tailgate sweeper, eject. Plop. Compacted trash right on the barge. I'm empty and I'm beat. You're just waking up now, but I need some Z's. Back to the garage crew. Hose me down and gas me up. See you tomorrow night, guys. Who am I? <laughs> I'm the garbage truck, that's who. And I stink! <laughs> when I was a little girl, my mother would never let me say the word stink. I had to say it smells. Something smells. I guess that's very polite, but we can say stink. Um, let's see, do we have another song to sing? <clears throat> well, we're not, are we ready to put on our PJs? We're still outside, but when we go to bed, we'll say, this is the way we put on our PJs, put on our PJs, put on our PJs. This is the way we put on our PJs before we go to bed. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our food. This is the way we wash our face before we go to bed. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair before we go to bed. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we go to bed. <coughs> I had a cough so we can get out a big kiss. This is the way we blow a kiss. Blow a kiss, blow a kiss. This is the way we blow a kiss before we go to bed. I have another story. This is an old book. Um, it's called Time Now to Dream. So this is written by Timothy Knappman and illustrated by Helen Oxenbury. So I know it's old because Helen Oxenberry um, is a, an illustrator from several years ago, probably when I was a little girl. <clears throat> it's one of my new favorite books. Time now to dream. There's a blackbird. Huh. Look at the things you can see. A spy spiders make their webs at night. And it's just the lady spiders that make the web. Do you know why they make webs? Hmm. To catch flies, maybe? You probably know more than I do about that. Alice and Jack were out playing catch when they heard something that sounded like... Aka by hay bees on a the trees. I'll bet you've been playing a lot of catch with your sisters and brothers, right? And friends, too. What's that noise, said Jack? It's coming from the forest, said Alice. Let's go and see. But what if it's the wicked wolf, said Jack. I want to go home. Said Alice, everything is going to be all right. And she held Jack's hand. Alice 
and Jack were stepping into the forest when they heard something that sounded like Oftis or Eef, Ed, on gentil the breeze. Never going to the forest at night, really. What's that noise, said Jack? I don't like it. Let's go and see, said Alice. But what if it's the wicked wolf, said Jack, with his big bad claws? Shh, said Alice. Everything is going to be all right. <clears throat> Did you notice the bird is following them? Alice and Jack were creeping through the forest when they heard something that sounded like, I'm an outerreaming deep terrors in a sky. What's that noise, said Jack? We're lost. It's just over there, said Alice. Let's go and see. What if it's the wicked wolf, said Jack, with his big bad claws and his snapped trap jaws? Shh, said Alice. Everything is going to be all right. I want to be home, said Jack. I want to be warm and wearing my pajamas. I want to be snuggled down deep. We have to be brave, said Alice. And that's when they heard it. Very close now. Say to leap on the eat alibi. It's right in front of us, said Jack. Big bad claws, snap trap jaws, the wicked wolf. Run, cried Alice. Run all the way home. But Jack didn't move. Jack said, wait, 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 Alice. The wolf isn't wicked, said Jack. The wolf is a mommy. That's what the noise is. Mommy wolf is singing her babies to sleep. Rock a bye, babies, under the trees. Soft is your leaf bed and gentle the breeze. Time now to dream, sing the stars in the sky. So sail off to sleep on my sweet lullaby. Everything is all right, said Jack. Then he gave a great big yawn. It's time to go home. And he held Alice's hand. Alice and Jack walked back through the forest. And they walked all the way home. They got into their nice warm pajamas and snuggled down deep in the bed. And they sailed off to sleep on that sweet lullaby. I like that lullaby. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to learn it and we maybe we can sing it from now on in our story time. Let's try it again. Rock a bye babies under the trees. Soft is your leaf bed and gentle the breeze. Time now to dream, sing the stars in the sky. So sail off to sleep on my sweet lullaby. It's time to dream. I wish you good dreams. There's nothing like a good dream. You can't make it happen. They just come. So um, we're going to Lily White's party. Um, and I asked my mother yesterday, because she always told us we were going to Lily White's party. And it turns out her mother, my grandmother, 
would tell her and my aunt, her sister, that they were going to go to Lily White's party. And, and they were, you know, they fell for it, too. So, But it's kind of fun when your bed is nice and clean and you just snuggle in those nice, clean white sheets. You could say, oh, I'm at Lily White's party and I'm going to have a good dream. So, so now it's time to go hippity hop to bed. I'd rather stay up instead. When mother says must, there's nothing but just. Go hippity hop to bed. And we will end with my favorite lullaby, You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I wish you sweet dreams. I wish you a good night's sleep. I wish you a sunny day when you wake up. And thank you for being here with me in story time. It really means a lot. I'll see you next time.